Nick Allo, Casey Thunder. Uh, Shay, you guys have not had many nights like this one tonight where it just seemed like uh, the rhythm wasn't quite there offensively and, and good looks weren't going down and chip shots weren't going down. Uh, do you chuck that up to just one of those nights in the NBA or, or do you feel like there were some um, tangible things that you guys uh, know that you can get to next game? Yeah, um, a little bit of both, I would say. Um, we definitely had shots and stuff we usually make didn't go in. Um, now, you're, you're going to have nights like that. Um, and we don't want to be a team that uses it, and uses it as an excuse. There was definitely controllables we could have used today. Um, getting back, moving the ball a little bit more offensively. Um, I just feel like they uh, they played their style of basketball for their whole 48 minutes, and we kind of frayed and shifted from ours. Um, and ultimately, that's why they won. And uh, just want to ask you about Indiana in general. I mean, that's a, a really high octane offense. What's unique about them as a team? Um, they play fast and they play free. Um, they race up and down the court, no matter what. And they, um, all five guys, are, are like weapons. Like they can all shoot whenever they want, drive, dribble, pass, um, and like everybody's a threat at all times. By now, we we know the standard you set this season. That that first quarter probably wasn't the the usual first quarter you have. I just wonder what you saw from um, the things Indiana was doing in the half court to kind of throw you off, to throw the entire you know half court offense off. Um, I was just off. I felt like. Okay. And, and, uh, I just I know you and Andrew Nemhart were kind of exchanging words. I know you guys had a Canadian connection. Just just talk to me about that and just um, what what you thought of that matchup. Yeah. Um. I, we grew up playing against each other. Um, I've known him for basically my whole life. Um, it's always fun playing against guys that you kind of see their whole journey um, and get to compete against them on the highest level. It's always a blessing. It's always an honor. Um, and I'm proud for him and where he's what he's done with his career so far. Sky's the limit for him. You guys kind of got it going a little bit in the third quarter, got a little lead. Was that anything you did differently as a team or just shots fall? Um, we got stops for that period of time. Um, and I think because we got stops, we were able to play in transition and um, get easier looks. Was this a t more taxing game? Look like you, it, it was taking more out of you. I mean, was it a more physical game or anything for you personally or anything? Um, I think they, uh, they, the game was at their pace. Um, I think that's what I would chalk it up to. They uh, played super fast, and that's their comfort zone, um, and we allowed them to do so. Today you broke Kevin Durant's record of having the most 30-point games in a single season for the Thunder. What does it mean to you to kind of have your name up there with some of these great scores that have played here? Um, it's cool. It's an uh, it's an honor. Um, obviously, Kev's done amazing things here in, in his career, um, and to be in those, those those type of conversations is an honor and blessing. Anybody else? Thanks, Chad. All right.